and welcome to another video on Pixelmon. In this video, I'll be going over how to do raid bosses, and specifically on the Squirtle Squad Pixelmon server, but other servers also run this plugin, so it might be useful for that too. By no means is this an explanation on how to deal as much damage as possible and always be top damage, but this is just some general pointers and some explanation how to do bosses and generally do good damage. The preparation part of this is that you're going to build a few mons that will help you doing these bosses. You do not need perfect IVs, perfect abilities, whatever. Uh, Pokemon for this. You can just catch random Pokemons in the wild and just level those up to level 100 and they'll be just as fine as perfect IVs ones. Why? Because in competitive, for example, where you do need the perfect IVs, you usually just get one or two moves to use and everything counts. Whereas raid bosses are more of like a spam fest in my opinion. What you do need to train properly in are the EVs and most servers have like an EV training part where you can uh, uh, grind EV training easily, but if that's not available to you, then you should figure out what Pokemons give what EVs and just grind those down instead. For raid bosses, I would recommend EV training at least fully into HP for the simple reason that you do not need speed. And I'll explain that later in the setup part, but the, man the general idea behind it is that it doesn't really matter whether you go first or second and having a lot more HP will help you manage when to use your healing move and when not. As for the other part of the EV training, depending on what kind of mon you're using, it either goes fully into attack or fully into special attack so you get the most damage out of it as possible. So for the setup, you're going to need a mon that can debuff. In my case, I use a Tyranitar. Uh, which has Snarl, which debuffs special attack, so the boss deals less damage if he uses special attack moves. Uh, Breaking Swipe, which does the same as Snarl, but then for physical attacks. Uh, Rock Tomb, for simply debuffing speed. And then there's Shadow Claw, which in itself doesn't do anything for debuffing, but I use the Dynamax uh, banned during raid bosses and Shadow Claw transforms into Max Phantasm uh, when used uh, Dynamaxed and uh, it will debuff the boss with minus defense. For the sp minus special defense debuff in Dynamax you'll need Snarl or a dark move. So if I bring a team that is fully special attack I will Dynamax my Tyranitar and start using Snarl. If I need the de uh, if I bring in physical attackers and I need the defense drops, then I'll Dynamax Serenitar and use Max Phantasm instead from the Shadow Claw. So how many times do you do everything? Like if it's Darkrai, for example, who is a special attacker, you're gonna use Snarl six times, the Dynamax, and I normally bring physical attackers because fighting is generally really good against Darkrai. Um, so then I Dynamax and I use the Max Phantasm and if I'm still alive with my Tyranitar I try to use as many Rock Tombs as possible so that will pretty much uh, guarantee that I'm going to outspeed the Darkrai anyway regardless what Pokemon I'm bringing unless I'm bringing something like Conkeldur or Shuckle or whatever. If it's an attacking mon, a physical attacker like Zerora for example then I won't do the Snarl and I go into Breaking Swipe instead because of the uh, attack drops. Everything else stays the same. If it's a, uh, if I'm, go I'm running special attackers, I do the Max Darkness. If it's, if I'm bringing physical attackers, then I'm doing Max Phantasm. There are probably other mods that sort of like do the same thing. For example, I sometimes use a Slither Wing, which has Lunge, which is pretty much the same thing as Breaking Swipe. So there's probably other combinations that uh, that you can do instead of the Tyranitar. Just look up whatever feels right to you. For me, that's at the moment it's Tyranitar, but there's probably maybe even better options out there. So that's the debuff part, and then I'm gonna switch into my other mons. Most of them are attackers, but some actually bring some more debuffing because debuffing goes into minus six. You can lower a stat six times in total. And the Max Dynamax only runs for three turns. So for the defense and special defense part, you can only lower it minus three. 
So you still have three debuffs left to do, or at least if you're going for that. You could also completely skip that and just go for full damage, but if you do get the defense or special defense drop, you're likely going to deal a lot more damage in the end. So that is up to you, whatever you prefer. I do run with extra debuffing moves. Um, I generally use Komo'o for the defense to drop even more with Iron Tail, but this can also be done with mons like Lucario or Swampert or, you know, Charizard, I, th I believe, also has Iron Tail. So there's, there's many options for mons to run Iron Tail. It's just a little bit unreliable because it only has a 30% chance to drop it. Uh, as well as the accuracy being 75. So from there on, usually I bring two Komoos, maybe a Lucario, uh, really depends on what mon it is. From that point on, I basically just deplete all my PP for Iron Tail and see how many actual drops I get. Sometimes I get all six, sometimes I only get one out of like three mons using Iron Tail. It's just a matter of luck. If you're actually setting up for special defense instead, in my case, I run uh, Gardevoirs, and I use, instead of the Iron Tail, I basically do the same thing, but then with Shadow Ball, which does, does the same thing, but instead drops the special defense. If I'm going special attackers and I throw my, my Gardevoirs, I basically deplete all the PP for Shadow Ball until I have all six special defense drops. Sometimes I prefer the, the Shadow Ball one because its, it's accuracy is better. Uh, although it only gives 20% chance to drop a special defense, so might take a little bit more time, but there's not really all that many other options, specifically at least on the Squirtle Squad server because of many moves being banned. Things like Leer, things like Metal Sound, the ones that sort of like guarantee defense or special defense dropped are pretty much banned from bringing, so if you bring along moves that also have like an extra effect to it, like Shadow Ball or Iron Tail, that is probably the only way to go for now. Once that is done, I start buffing my own mons. With the Gardevoir, for example, I started to use Spamming Calm Mind, uh, in the same way that for Komoo, I use Bulk Up. So this gives me extra defenses and extra attacking uh, stats. Buck Up does this for physical mons, Calm Mind does this for special attackers, and raises the special defense. So if you're going up against a Darkrai, for example, which is a special attacker, and I uh, come out with my Gardevoirs, if I keep up Calm Minding, and it's already minus six special attack, then it doesn't really hurt me all that much. So it's really easy for me to start managing my uh, Draining Kiss, or if it's like a physical attacker, uh, and I'm using Komoo, the same thing applies to Drain Punch. Can you also do this with other moves? Uh, there's Leech Life, obviously, that also can heal yourself to sort of like manage uh, the damage that you have to outheal while you're still setting up buffing yourself. Once you have that going, it's pretty much just go for it. Deplete all your PP, specifically the ones that are super effective. If you bring one debuffing mon and then two mons with like Iron Tail or Shadow Ball, if it's like a Zerora, for example, that Iron Tail won't do a lot of damage, but if in the back I'm keeping like three Guard Chomps and all of them will have um, um, a Swords Dance, then I can I can pretty much just deplete all the PP for my Guard Chomp and do, deal super effective damage while not having to worry about getting one shot up by the boss. Most of the times, if I don't have healing moves on a Mon, but it is super effective damage, it's generally better, but you won't survive forever. Like, my debuffing Mons will last pretty long, because they can heal, and they won't take a lot of damage because of their defenses, but if you're bringing things like Swords Dance or Nasty Plot, and you don't have any healing moves, then you really have to time out when you have to attack with it. So be aware of that. And that is pretty much all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this explanation, and I'll see you later.